Happy Sunday. Kimberly here. Hope you can hear me. I'm across the room doing some finishing touches on a baby. But number one, this is going to be a multi-purpose video. Number one, I wanted to show you how beautiful Genevieve looked in the prize that we won from Debbie's giveaway from Reborn Blessed. Debbie, it is so beautiful. I just love that it's not like the normal baby colors. I think she looks so pretty in this color. I don't even know if I have anything. I would have to look for her in that color. Um, but I love it on her. Unfortunately, she has a rather large head, so the headband did not fit her. But we made it into a bracelet. If you can see it there behind Emma Bean's head, it is on her wrist as a bracelet. And since you trimmed it in gray, we were able to pull out that fabulous gray headband from my mom again and put that on, and it looks beautiful with it. Um, anyway, and then Asriel's still sitting there all sweet. I just love that outfit on him and think he looks adorable. Um, anyway, we just wanted to pop on Debbie and say thank you so very much for that beautiful, beautiful dress. We love it. And um, another thing is... I don't know if anybody noticed in my um, recent showings of um, the babies like Sawyer and Corey, and even Asriel has one. Um, I contacted Nicole because she makes all these beautiful baby bracelets, and she has sent me several for my girls, and I wanted um, some little baby bling for the boys. So I asked her to make me some with African colors, and so I have um, commissioned her to make um, both boy and girl bracelets, and I'm so happy the boy ones came out so nice. Here, let me pop in and see. Esriel has one there on his wrist. Um, I really, really love them, so thank you so much for that, Nicole. Your work is so beautiful. And speaking of Nicole, I have to answer her five quirky things about myself. I've been racking my brain. Not that I'm not quirky, but it's really hard to narrow it down to five. I will say my number one quirky thing, and um, my friends know this about me, it's really hard to dis not discuss, but to describe. I think in numbers. And I've only met uh, one other person, live and in person, who does this, and we had the most fabulous conversation. Um, so that, I think, is my number one quirkiest thing. Um, and what else is quirky about me? I'm an organizational freak. I don't find it freaky per se, but many people who see my house are, like, shocked at how I do things. Um, for example, like, when I hang um, my husband or my clothes in our closet, for I do everything left to right because that's how you read. Um, and so I have to hang, you know, shirts are sleeveless, then short-sleeved, then long-sleeved, and then within those they are done by solid colors first then patterns, and then if there's like several stripes, the stripes are together, but they're all done lightest to darkest, and then, um, you know, button downs and non-button downs are separated, um, and like when, when we wear something, we take it off the hanger, and the hanger is put on the left of the rack, so all the empty hangers are together, and magically I know where everything goes when I hang everything back up. Um, so I guess organizing, but I just see it as a way of knowing where everything is. I never have to really look for anything because I, I know where I put everything. Um, but that is one, I guess, quirky thing about me is that I'm super hyper organized. Um, what else is quirky about me? Um, sorry, it's so... So what most of them have to do with numbers, because I'm a total number freak, but, um, like, for example, if I look at a clock and it's on an odd number, I have to stay staring at it till it switches to an even number. Um, I don't like odd numbers. Um, and it's so funny, because recently when I was driving, um, my car switched to 70,000 miles, and the time... I forget, I, I actually took a photo of it. It was like 1111, which you're probably saying, oh, that's an odd number. But for me, as soon as I see odd numbers, I, I add them up to the smallest denominator. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, so it was okay. Anyway, I know, it's really, really strange. 
Anyway, so I guess I don't I don't love odd uh odd numbers. Maybe that's a quirky thing. I don't know. It's really hard to pick quirky things about yourself because to me they're normal and I don't see them as quirky. I'm just trying to think of things that I've told people and they just kind of, or they come in my house and they either say something or just the look on their faces lets me believe that, oh, maybe I'm not as normal as I thought I was. Um, let's see. I don't really have any weird like ritual things. I used to. I used to have to every night empty every garbage can in my house before I went to bed, but I've kind of let that go. Um, not that I keep garbage for a long time, but I used to not be able to sleep if I didn't do that. It was a little bit of an OCD thing, but I've, I've learned to understand that it's okay if there's a piece of Kleenex in my bathroom garbage can. It will be, it'll be okay in the morning. <laughs> um... Let's see, what else is quirky about me? Um, I don't know. Is reborning quirky? Maybe. Maybe creating these babies is quirky. I, I don't know. Um, I'm really sorry, Nicole. I'm racking my brain here. But I guess thinking in numbers, being hyper-organized... Uh, oh, here's a quirky thing about me. I, there are certain textures of food that I cannot stand. For example, like cottage cheese. It's not the taste of cottage cheese I don't like, it's the texture. And it's really funny because I love dipping dots, which you'd think they're similar, but the cottage cheese is, is like damp. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but there are certain foods as soon as they hit my mouth, I, I can't even get beyond the texture to tell you about the taste profile. So that's a quirky thing about me. I have texture issues. Um... So we've got numbers, thinking in numbers, organization. I, I don't know if reborning counts as quirky. Maybe. To some people, I'm sure it is very quirky. Um, food texture issues. And here's another thing I used to do. I don't do it anymore. It's maybe a little too much information. I used to always have to have my underwear matching my clothes. I don't do that anymore. I used to be really, really, really OCD about a lot of things. And as I've matured, I've learned that, you know, the world, you know, still goes on if you don't, you know, you can't manage all those things and, and, and survive. Um, it was a lot. It was a lot of, I mean, I am, a, my, my brain is constantly going, which I'm sure everybody's is. Um, I don't have the ability to do nothing. I, I struggle with that bless my husband, he's so laid back, and and I'm learning from him that it's okay just to sit and watch a movie. It's very hard for me if I'm sitting, I want, I'll like want to have my computer going at the same time as the movie, or I want to be crocheting, or cross-stitching, or I can't reborn because there's no, um, like, it's not set up where our television is for me to reborn, but I don't, it's very hard for me to do nothing. Um, even like making these videos, which is why I love the tripod. I'm sitting here working on a doll. I, I, it's very hard for me. I love to to um, multitask, but I try to do I try to multitask intelligently. Um, I know if you're doing too many things, you know things can go wrong. Like if you're you know cooking and walk away and do other things, you can burn your food kind of thing. Um, so I try to to um, multitask intelligently. I, I always think through my day. Like if it's a laundry day, I have certain days. There's maybe a quirky thing. I have certain days where I do things. Like I have certain days where I dust and vacuum, certain days where I do laundry, and I, I really like to stick to my schedule, and that's how my house stays very clean. Um, but for example, uh, one of my days, Tuesdays, I do laundry and I clean my bathrooms. And so I'll always put laundry in first so that while I'm cleaning a bathroom, I feel like you know, two things are getting done at the same time. Um, and even when I'm reborning, as soon as I hear the washing machine stop, I'll stop what I'm doing, go move the stuff to the dryer, put another load in. Um, I like to stay on top of things and everything kind of flows. It's kind of like cooking. Like when you, let's say, for example, you make a, a breakfast of, you know, bacon, eggs, potatoes, toast, or whatever, 
you know, you don't cook the eggs first. You start the bacon and the potatoes, the things that take longer. And then as they're getting closer to being done, you do the eggs and put the toast down. So, you know, it's all about, I'm very, I very, I'm very thoughtful in that way where I try to think things through and, um, make things come out even, so to speak. Anyway, I'm sure I've rambled on long enough. Nicole, I don't know if this will qualify. I really did my best to think of quirky things. Um, let me know if I did poorly and I will try again. Anyway, everybody, I hope you're having a great Sunday. Um, yesterday I did feel like I was getting a sinus infection and I think I told you I did my nasal rinse. I did it all day and used my essential oils and today I feel probably 90% better than I did yesterday. And yesterday wasn't too bad. I just didn't like waking up with all that pressure on my face. But I went ahead and nasal rinsed again this morning. I'm going to stay vigilant with it. So, um... So anyway, yeah, I'm feeling better. My husband's feeling better. Um, I am finishing up uh, this baby here. Um, and then I've got Sydney is, is partially started. Um, I'm hoping to finish Tavi this week. Sawyer and Corey are both on eBay. They end today. But again, if anybody out there is interested, please contact me because the prices on Etsy and eBay are a little higher to offset some of the costs they charge me. So I would hate for you to pay that if you're, you know, if you know me on here. So, um, so anyway, I uh, hope everybody's doing well. I did this morning go through some of my history and comment on some videos. I've been watching videos for weeks and just some I comment, some I, I just don't always have time if I'm wearing gloves while I'm painting or whatever. So I tried to go through today. Unfortunately, um, I'm not sure how, but my husband also watches YouTube and somehow whatever he watches up watches ends up in my history as well so while I was doing this at some point I got to wear all his video and I just had to stop so I did a comment on several videos this morning but I am watching um I can't think of everybody's YouTube channel name but Nana and Papa and Melissa of um oh she's in California I know her name is Melissa and that is not her channel name her and her mom I love their videos they crack me up um Sherry Kent, Nicole, Melissa of Dolly Pop Productions, uh, Debbie of Reborn Blessed, Yvonne of Having You On, um, Herlanda. I mean, there's just so many of you. I do, I do promise I watch your videos. Sharla, I love your videos. You're so sweet. Um, I know you're here in Texas. I wish you were closer. I'd love to sit and have tea with you. Um, but I do watch y'all's videos, and I try to comment. Uh, when I can, I do apologize for that because it's really hard to know if somebody's watching your video unless you comment. So I do apologize. I do have to get better at that. Maybe I should stop watching reborning videos while I paint and just watch them, you know, at other times. But anyway, so that's what's going on here. <coughs> Excuse me. But I do hope y'all have a blessed Sunday and a fabulous week ahead. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Blessings to all. Ooh, this video is 13 minutes. Sorry. Bye.